Oh, what a bite that was! Well, g'day everyone and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Currently just waiting for the tide to come in a little bit so we can launch the boat. I checked yesterday and around 4.3 metres should be able to get the boat in the water and out the front. We're at Cape Corodron, I think I pronounced that correctly, probably not. But there's Trevally, there's Queenies and there's Mackies just along the coast here so you don't have to travel very far. Really good popper fishing apparently, so um, once this tide comes in we'll get the boat in the water um, and because we're in that sort of area now where the tides are big, I've only got about four hours of fishing to make it happen, but hopefully not having to travel far, plenty of rocks, plenty of good areas, we can find some cool stuff in that time. So once this water comes in a bit, we'll get the boat in the water and we'll get into it. Well, we just made it out with the aid of a very nice person that came down and helped me give me the boat a push. Uh, so I think we've got three and a half hours of fishing, I think, to get the boat back on the trailer. But if not, I'll anchor the boat up and we'll just put it back on in the morning. But anyway, we'll worry about that later. Uh, got some really obvious spots. So there's a couple of big rocks um, and then some points where the current's obviously running past. So um, yeah, I, I don't know much at all about this area. Um, Scotty Gray, who recommended this spot to me, um, said that the rock out here was good. So we might try out there. Um, just a day, another day of exploring, which is very cool. I think it's good for your fishing to, you know, use the fundamental aspects of fishing, you know, find the current, find patches of bait, um, and yeah, usually you find the fish. All right, so what I'm gonna start with, maybe a little bit light, but I didn't wanna to go too heavy on you know, if they're medium-sized queenies in Trevally, this would be a really fun setup to catch them on. So, Azores 4000, 30 pound bionic braid, 80 pound hard armor supple leader, and then just one of the um, scrum half poppers, which is a good mid-sized popper. Should do the job nicely, push a bit of water. And um, if we get blown away and something steals my lure, then, uh, yeah, we might upsize. I've got a couple of other big, big, bigger rods rigged there and also eight foot spin stick just so you can cast a long way and got the electric down and we'll just tick along and see what we can find. Got a heap of birds working just offshore that probably should go check out, I think. There's one. Epic bite. Whoa, big queenie. Oh, that was awesome. Oh. Woo <laughs> oh. So cool. Wow, that was cool. I've been throwing the big popper around and I had a few follows and thought better put the small one on. Epic. Oh, it came off. We'll get another one.
see if we can't get one on a plastic. I thought it was a good idea having a few options rigged. I just saw one out there, did I? <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> oh, sick! He's right, right there. Holy cow! Oh, big shark. There you go after this fish. Beat the uh, shakaroonies. I assume it's a queenie. What is it? It's a tuna. Is it a tuna? Oh, that's so going to get sharp. Yeah, it's a tuna. Come around this way, buddy. Well, that was cool. <laughs> We're like first chuck in there with the plastic. Oh, hey. I think it's the best for the both of us if you just come in the net. Got him. You. Well, that was cool. So much fun on the light gear. Very nice. Four inch diesel minnow with that chartreuse head. And it just got absolutely blasted by a Mackie. Now, not a great eating fish by any means, but super fun on light gear, 30 pound tackle. Can't complain with that. Away he goes. Yeah, coming to new water like this, um, it always pays to check out what the birds are doing. Birds are good because you can see them from so far away. Um, usually they're on bait, and usually that's where the other, like where the fish are. So you can see birds from, like you can see them on the horizon. So if you see birds, Go over, check it out. It's always worth a few casts. There's quite a few fish on the sand. Oh. Yeah, there is fish on the sand. <laughs> 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 uh, I was like driving along. I'm like looking down. I'm like quite a few arches on the sounder, and that plastic didn't even make it two meters down, and it got nailed. Oh, awesome queen! Awesome queen! Well, Cape Corodron, you are off the charts they really are the two chasing it look at that oh, I sat there yesterday just rigging up because there was no way I was getting out because there's just no water in the van it's not a four-wheel drive it's never going to get me across the sand um, so it was nice to wait for the right part of the tide get all set up and just come out and have some good fishing oh, sick. Oh. hey that's a nice queenie haven't had a queenie session yet on this trip That is a beautiful sized queenie. 
Hey, that is a nice size queenie. Just saw the arches on the sander chuck down and Wooshka. How awesome is that? <laughs> find the birds, find the bait, and the fish are just there. That is epic. All right, we're gonna get this one back. So I went with the five inch diesel minnow, the chartreuse big eyes head. That's a three, no, that's an ounce head, that one, sorry. Um, and went with the Houdini color simply because it's like a darker color that has good contrast in this water. Um, and the fish can see it easier. Yeah, you could go with the bait fish color, but that's got good contrast in the water. Um, particularly in the tropics, they do like a bit of contrast. So it seems to be working quite nicely. It looks like the birds are doing something out here. Oh, yep. Anger a little bit high, but just went for that quick burn and um, <laughs> found one random patch of birds and chucked the popper out, and it just got <laughs> demolished. First cast, there's a whole pack of them behind it. Oh, sick! <laughs> Whoa, what a jump! <laughs> oh, too much fun. There's a whole pack of big queenies by the boat. Look at that. That is so much fun. So much fun. You could just see the big swirl behind the popper when I chucked it out there. Another nice queenie broke me rod. <laughs> bit sad <laughs> oh well we snapped the rod but we got the fish check that out beautiful big queenie unfortunately I sticked my rod and broke it but that's what happens on the big jobs beautiful fish Nice cast. Dang it. <laughs> oh. Look at them all. Big pack of marauding queenies. Epic fun. Oh, they're on it. Eat it. Oh, here he comes. Oh, right by the boat. Look at them all. <laughs> Big boils. So many. It's going to get nailed. <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun. Such a great sports fish. Uh, they'll eat lures, flies, run like mad, and jump like crazy. Just such a nice fight on 30 pound gear. Whew. This place is epic.
interesting starting at that first rock you could tell the water was just a bit colored now i know i didn't spend that much time there but um definitely coming out into this blue water There's stuff going down so good always pays to have a plastic rig they really do get the nibs a heap more birds working over there too Must be a decent sized one. Is it a. I, I reckon this is a Trevally. Oh. Is that? Yeah, it looks like a Trevally. Sick. Trevor. That is cool. That is very cool. <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself but I've not been sharked yet which is most enjoyable that's a nice Trav just cruising around with the uh Queenie schools. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Very happy with that. What a morning session. Unbelievable. Check that out. Beautiful Trev on the diesel minnow. <laughs> so much fun. So much fun. Stoked to put out the 30 pound gear. Like fish like this on that sort of gear are just super entertaining. That is awesome. He's gone. So running 50 pound platypus fluorocarbon and then just that 30 pound bionic braid. And go slightly lighter, like 50 pound so I got 80 on that. Oh, I had 80 on the other setup. But um, 50 pound fluoro, very, got a lot of abrasion resistance. Very good chance I'll get spooled using this setup, but I can have fun on the way. Oh. What a bite! <laughs> oh. oh, gonna break another rug. Oh. Wouldn't let me get around. Ah, <laughs> oh. well. This place is absolutely insane. I've stopped in a random, like random spot in the ocean. And it's just loaded with all manner of angry things. I know Scotty said this is like the promised land, but wow, he was not kidding. Uh. <laughs> Actually, so much fun on a baitcaster. Nice to mix things up. <laughs> I wonder if there's another Trevally. Trevally and Queenie's in amongst the schools. <laughs> oh. Up you come. Uh, it's 
doing Trevor things. I would call it for a Trevor. Uh, you like doing laps around the boat. His mate's like, what are you doing? Just pick a side, bro. That's a nice Trev. They fight hard. I'm not giving up. His mate's trying to steal the popper. Check that out. Unreal. It's just heaps of fish swimming around the boat. All right, gonna give up. Look at all the fish. Oh. It's got him. Now that is a sick fish on the bait caster. <laughs> what a fish. What a fish on the bait caster. That is just insane fun. That is awesome. Good to come out, just like I said, find the birds. The fish aren't far behind the birds. And it's been amazing, like the birds have disappeared from this one bit, but the fish are just hanging around so angry. He's gone. Many, many birds just over there. Something's going to go down. There's like heaps of birds here. Heaps of birds. Oh, what? That just got blown out of the water. Oh, he's on it. Eat it. <laughs> Fully launched it out of the water. Hundred percent, I'm going to get spooled on this. Oh, look at him right there. Could be a job for the plastic. Something's going to happen. Oh, there he is. He's got it. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, what do you say? What do you say about that? <laughs> oh. Unbelievable. Never been to this spot before. Yeah, got some great advice from Scotty, just saying that it was good, but no particular area or anything to go. And like I keep saying, just find the birds. There's so much you can do with a popper up north. Popper and a plastic or a stick bait. And you pretty much got it covered. Another nice queenie. And amazingly, no men in grey suits. That just makes it even more special. There's actually, that's like really takes from so I haven't done a lot of bottom fishing. So it really takes from it losing fish to sharks or just feeding the sharks. Another beautiful queen. Oh. 
hopper is doing some serious damage this morning. What a place. He's gone. Oh, don't eat it, bird. Get out of, oh. <laughs> the bird. Hey, hey. The bird was gonna steal the bother. I was trying to rip it out of the way of the bird. And what I think is a queenie, or it could be a big trevally, just annihilated it. Look at the, what is that, big trevally, I'm guessing. Oh. How good. <laughs> I can't believe that bird, he was so angry. But then everything here seems to be ridiculously angry. Yeah, it's a tuna. Mackie. No wonder it went so fast. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that was just hectic. Absolutely hectic. What an absolute bullet. Got him. He's in the net. I'm just gonna remove that popper before he does something stupid. <laughs> Beautiful tuna on the bait cast gear. Sick. He goes. Craziness. So we've had Mackies, Mac Tuna, Big Queenies, pretty sure they were Brassy Trevally, caught them on plastics, caught them on poppers, spin gear, bait cast gear. It has been unbelievably good. Just the most amazing light tackle fishing. It's just, yeah, what a place. So cool. So stoked I stopped in here. Thanks, Scotty. Oh, that's big. He's on it. That was a big bite. Look at him there. Wow, there is some angry stuff here. There he is. Oh, he's clean. He's there. He's angry. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> Chuck the plastic down. Oh, a little bit of wind. Forecast's actually good today, but I'm, like I was saying, I was only doing that few hour session, so. Oh, that's why you chuck the plastic out. It's coming, it's coming for the boat. What is that? Looks big, looks big. Feels big. Oh. Round you go. Round you go. So much bending. Yeah, they don't need it. And then the first few smashes with the popper. Chuck the plastic out. Oh, is it a big golden man? 
A big golden. Oh, sick, sick. Oh, there's a whole school of them. Wow. Now that's cool. Big golden. Oh, amazing, amazing. Amazing. So glad I chucked the plastic out. Beautiful big golden. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> this is just off its lid. <sighs> Look at them all down there. I don't believe how good this is. How can this be this good? Ah, oh, there he is. That is just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Come on. You got so many mates with you. Oh my God. That is just a beautiful fish. Come on. I broke my other rod. Idiot. What? Look at that. Big, beautiful golden. Amazing, amazing fish. That is just so sensational. The way I'm going, Oh, I'm not going to have any gear left. Ready? Oh, bit of a belly flop, but he's gone. Broken all my stuff. I'm doing a very good job at breaking stuff today. Unbelievable. Big goldens, brassies, queenies, make tuna. It is all happening out here. Unbelievable. Bite that was. Oh, that just imploded on it. When does this ever happen? When does it ever happen like this? What? Now you'd never eat the Mackies, but as far as them launching on a popper and stripping drag like crazy, that's unreal. So much fun. It is a big cobia! Big cobia on the popper! Oh, what? Oh, yes! Yo! Look at it go! Oh, whole pack of big cobia! Man! That is insane. Oh, that is just so cool. So cool. Oh, look at him. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that is just so cool. Wow, what a bite. What a bite. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, sorry for being so excited, but oh, that is just unbelievably cool. Oh, 
what a fish. I really wanted to get a big cobia or a good cobia this trip. Oh, he's going. Ugh. He's going. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I really don't. It's not often stuff like this happens. It really isn't. <sighs> Sensational. Very special place. Very special. That is just amazing. Amazing. Amazing fish. Alright buddy. In you come. Is it gonna even fit in the net? Oh no, it didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Just get your head in there. Be right. Turn around. That's him. That's him. I got him. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that is all time. Oh, big cobia. That is a big cobia. Big cobia on the popper. That was just one of the sickest things ever. Oh, what an incredible fish. What an absolutely incredible fish. All right, let's get him back. He's ready. He's gone. That was insanely cool. All right, well, that wind's picked up. It's getting a little bit wild out here. Um, if I finish now, I'll easily get the boat back on the trailer, which will be really, really nice. And, you know, what a fish to finish on. Just unbelievable, like unbelievable session. And you don't get to have, yeah, you know, fishing like that just doesn't happen every day. So, so stoked. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us a like. Thanks very much for watching the channel. It's hugely appreciated. I'll catch you all next time.